<laughs> Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albine Round and Beer Review. Alicia on her maiden voyage. Uh, 4.75% alcohol. Alba Scott Pine Ale. You're really starting me off weak, eh? 4.75? <laughs> you just, you just wait until you gotta say the word weak. Okay. Wait until you're tasting it. Yeah, yeah. true. Okay, so this is uh, by the the Heather Brewing Company in Scotland. Under ingredients, now this this makes me kind of weirded because one, it doesn't say water anywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> and two, it doesn't say hops. And I know that water, hops, and yeast are as well as malt are needed to be put in beer to make it beer. But is there but, beer? No, there's malted barley, pine. Scots pine and spruce sprigs. Wow. So, so you're drink drinking a Christmas color. tree is what yeah. we're what we're getting. Color. It's a it's a triple <laughs> style ale, so it's triple fermented. Um, It's a little cloudy. It does smell slightly, slightly sprucey. Now, remember when, well, Boy Chuck wasn't there with me, but for the people that have watched my beer umentary series, you might remember that my buddy John brewed a beer with a juniper bush. <laughs> now, I thought that was weird until I read that this is with pine, neat, pine twigs and, and spruce twigs. But um, it smells sweet too. It smells very sweet, mm -hmm. kind of candied. A little bit like spruce. You're right. I don't really yeah. get any pininess. No. Ah, trying it. Cheers. That's interesting. Did you know that trees were sweet? <laughs> Apparently so. Well, they can be sappy, so... Maple. It's not maple, fuckhead. Hey, yeah, I'm saying, you said trees. It smells good, I want to... Oh, it tastes good. I want to say it's kind of cidery. A little bit. But it's good. It's light tasting. There's, it is very light. There's no heaviness it's at all. It's very soft. You don't get much of the, much of the carbonation. It goes down very easy. There's a little... I wouldn't say you actually even taste the pine, but you do get a little bit, a little bit of spruce. Mm -hmm. um, actually, you might get some of the pine because when you get the sap on your hands from playing with pine needles, it kind of has that taste to it. Yeah, that's true. How do I know? Because I've bit my fingernails afterwards. So, <laughs> yeah. He's from the country. It makes sense. <laughs> I am. We need Bubba here. Bubba's eight wood. Yeah, that's why we need him here. I think it's like the right amount of carbonation too. Any more would make it too much like a cider. I think this is really good. It this has a kind of fruity taste to it too, right in the middle, it, and it kind of emanates up through your throat afterwards. It's a weird, weird sweetness that isn't from the tree. There's like hardly an aftertaste though for me, anyways. Really, no, no bitterness. You don't taste any hops, but I mean the ingredients don't say there's any yeah, hops. Yeah, there in is it. none in there, so. No water either. Yeah. Or beer, and it wasn't brewed by the brewer. Son of a bitch. No one asked me if it was brewed by the brewer. Was it brewed by the brewer? No. <laughs> <laughs> you knew it wasn't. The second there wasn't beer in it, it couldn't have been brewed by him. It was brewed by the Heather Ale Limited, like I said, but it's the Williams Brothers Brewing Company. A couple of <laughs> Oh, brothers. Oh, I see. Can you do that? Oh. I. Why are you shaking your hand? Because it can't pick us up, but it can pick him up. It can pick you up. Not as much as him. A lot of backhand-handed antics going on here. They're used to it. Now, this is something I didn't ask you before mm -hmm. you sat down, because I know it's your your first time and all right. that. But you're not pregnant, right? No. Okay. <laughs> no chance in hell. Are you kidding me? No. The Surgeon General says that she should not be drinking if she's pregnant. Just yes. making sure. I'm done tonight. Well, actually, last week. I'll no, pass this no, over this way. Definitely not. Um, it's interesting though. It's 
I like it, but I don't. I don't know. It's what was that whispering about? You want to have my baby? Yes. Mm, yes. Have you Can seen I the size of his baby? It would destroy your urethra. Okay. Well, I'm gonna so really beer. Find about a baby coming into my urethra. But picture his baby on top of anything. His baby's like three weeks old and it's the size of a five-year-old. I, I know, I know. I, I've seen the... Let me give this another baby. cheers with you. It's good. <laughs> it's giant. Who would have thought drinking spine... Oh, spine. <laughs> spine. Yes, yes. You're drinking spine. Pine and spruce sprigs would be so tasty. I, I'd easily give it an 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8.5 for sure. Strong 8.5. Really? It, it is really good. Uh, I would buy this on the regular. If for you guys sure. are going looking for it and you're here in Ontario, it'll be at your LCBOs in the next week or so. It's in the historic ales of Scotland pack. It's like ten seventy five for four weird ales. It's not bad. All ale brewed with natural flavors, no chemical at all. It does taste. Like anyway, that. thanks for watching. Bye. Wow, you guys like that shit, eh? That's good. Try There's it some out. in the, some in the bottle. Yeah, I almost poured the whole thing, and I'm like, no, gotta save some, gotta save some. Try it out. It's actually, it goes good after drinking a stout too, doesn't it? Because that, yeah, it's like just we, so we light. Yeah, like, we had a quarter in a stout before this, and it's, it, it oh fits right. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah. It's like ginger ale in a bottle. I gotta get me some of that druid piss, man, that's good. That's good. Apparently don't eat water for beer. Nope. Or hops. Mm. Shit we're learning. A beer that is not a beer. That's happy. That is just Alba. happy.